What's going on, guys? Wiggles in the block, back again in the garage with the 77 C10. The camera's on because look what showed up. So the man in the big brown truck came by and brought this piece, which is the last part that we need to get this side of the truck done. Let's get to it. All right, so special thanks to the people at parkgeek.com for providing affordable replacement panels. Now I'm going to show you something. This is the CHL panel here. They had some sticker on that got torn off. This is the same part that comes from Elkers, Summit, Jags. I think everything with LMC. Now this part on Parks Geek cost me less than $40 shipped. In fact, it may have been more like $30 shipped. Everybody else wanted $60 to $75 for the exact same part made by the exact same people. You gotta shop around. Anyway, I said all that to say this. This is the last piece that you can see right here. Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Look, look at that. Look at that. The last part that's needed to get this side of the truck done. And if you look up here to your left, the rest of it's been done. So your boy's been busy. This has been a very, very productive time. Very happy. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, mark up this piece I got right here. Um, I'm going to stick it up there with some clamps and check my other piece, which I think I've already got cut. Actually, <clears throat> I may not have cut the other piece because I was waiting on this because I wanted to make sure that wherever this seam came across, I could make the two work, you know, seamlessly. <laughs> See, where the seam came across, put the seam together, so it's seamless, so you don't know anything happened. That's what I was after. So, because of that, I decided to hold off. You can see I didn't cut anything here. I came down to where this was at, and then I found that this was completely rotted and put together with, um window mesh or window screen and because of that I was like you know what there's just no point in even trying to fix that let me go ahead and get this marked up here and um, I'm actually gonna do one thing right quick. I will say one thing so this corner is a little bent up on this but that's not big, not a big deal you can pull that back out pretty easy just with your hands no tools required um, it's nice that this doesn't have any dents in it like my fenders, the front fenders were all dented up, so that's nice. I don't have to like fix any body lines, which is great. So, <clears throat> let's see. Let me grab a clamp, clamp this thing up here, check my other piece, and we're at. Okay. Let me go find my other panel. I set it in the shop somewhere. It could be a while. And go find that. Well, here's a laugh for you. That panel. Yeah, there it is. So apparently, I had set it up there so I wouldn't lose it. Now I lifted the truck up and I couldn't find it. So, that's where it is. Just out of reach. Alright, so, taking a look at what we got here, what we got left, on this side over here. Actually, don't look too bad at all. So I think what I'm going to do is actually trim the top of this off, and then I'm going to mark the truck, and I'm going to actually cut the truck out some more. Yeah. The heck. It's an inch or so. No big deal. Let's do that. And we'll get this panel ready to put in. A little pro tip for you guys. So, you want to cut something fast. You want to cut a straight line. Got a piece of angle down there. I've got it reversed. And I have this nibbler. What you've seen me use before. So just take the nibbler, line up on the piece of metal, pull the trigger, and that will guide it all the way down through here. You're welcome.
the grinder out grind all this stuff down got a few more little holes around where the trim was at to fill in I'll go ahead and fill those in get everything ground down and then we'll be ready to finish stripping the paint off actually um, yeah get everything ah me 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 go ahead and grind all the welds down after I take care of welding up these few small holes where the trim was at then we'll be ready, ready to grind everything down hit with a little bit of filler and then prep the rest of this body and get ready to move to the next step with everybody is excited for which is paint of course I got a few other mechanical things to take care of I'm not sure if we're going to do that before after we do the paint but you'll just have to tune in next time to see my name's Erwin and this three was in a block where we're giving back with time that's taken away we'll see you soon